your race pure if you were the original ones raping um, women and having babies <laughs> with the indigenous Kaya, and the people? Kaya. Huh? I'm just saying. Please don't, please don't go there because you know my, you know see, my this, brand. You, you this, know my this, this is the level. And then this. You know, they're, they're, they're superior race or supreme race, whatever. Okay, so, oh, right. can we just, so can we just get on, let, let's talk about Donald Trump and um, his platform that he ran on, Make America Great Again. When was it ever great? Okay, no, 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 no. Can I no. just no, 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 but I'm saying it. When we were made in Butler. Wait, no. That's when it was great. No, no, no. no. Yes, um. Here's the time. No, it was the time. <laughs> There was a time when America was great. There when? was a time, the time. Okay, you guys want to know when America was great? Tell me, I'm gonna, when? <laughs> America was great when the Native American inhabited the land. Oh, oh no, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 America yeah, was great. America was oh, great. I remember that. I will tell you why. Do not get this made great. Great. I will tell you. Just listen. Okay. So America was great when this land belonged to the Native Americans. They took care of this land. Yeah. They cultivated this land. They lived here. They were they didn't suffer from diseases. Their body was acclimated to the weather here. Mm -hmm. This was their land. When those people got on those ships seeking religious freedom, they needed to find a new land that they can practice their religious freedoms. They were on ships. And let's talk about those ships that they were on, that they chose to be that, on. Don't, don't get my pressure up. Wait, I just ask that. Wait, you know, and because there's a difference, and and people really need to understand. And when I hear when I hear people speak, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, you 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 read this in the book because I learned this in school. Mm -hmm. How did you not understand or comprehend what it is you were taught and what you read? Because we learned that the Indians were here. And these people came on ship in search of freedom, mm -hmm. correct? I'm not even talking about um, Columbus because we know Amerigo Vespucci was here before Columbus. That's why America is named America after Amerigo Vespucci, but that's a whole nother story. So that's not even. Come on, history! Not even, that's not, Somebody must got an A in history. Let me, I tell y'all all the time, I read. I am nobody's dummy. Um, so we're not even going to talk about the queen sending Columbus in mm -hmm. search. Yes. We're talking about those people that left England on a ship. Yes. Okay. They willingly got on a ship. They were not shackled on that ship. They willingly went on that ship. They were on those ships for months. Mm -hmm. Now let's just think about you being on this ship for months because we know what happened to the slaves as well. Yes. Where no are you it, wasn't, it wasn't no cruise. Where, where are you urinating? The cruise that wasn't a cruise. You were, where were they urinating and defecating? Uh-huh. So if you're constantly inhaling your waste, they started to become ill. So they were going, they were, they were, they had malaria and all other types of diseases. Mm -hmm. They had the same blankets that they were covering themselves with because remember now, they're traveling by boat from England. Mm -hmm. So now they're going through all the different elements and all of the different temperatures. They willingly got on this ship. So now they come here and these people welcome them. You see what happens when you welcome people? To their great land. They brought their diseases yes. mm -hmm. to the land that was pure. Mm -hmm. These mm -hmm. people lived off the land. They farmed. They caught, they, this is what they did. They used animal skins to cover their bodies. They were hunters. They were not taught anything from these people that came here on that ship. They had already mastered the art of surviving here. Mm -hmm. Those people had to learn how to survive, and they came here with their diseases and their germs and infested the land. Not only did they do that, they stole. Yes. So they stole from the Native Americans. They took the Native Americans' kindness and use it against them. It is this, the is the this is the history of the savagery of the white man. Uh -huh. They came to a land that was great. And for Donald Trump to say, make America great again, that means he's giving it back to the Native American. And he's taking them off of the reservations that they placed them on and have them in all these different areas now that they still live kind of poor. Uh -huh. 
you know, we have people who want to claim, you know, lineage to tribes. And I don't want to, I don't want to do it to her, but Elizabeth Warren. Dawes Row, Dawes Row, uh, $5 Indians. Okay. She was, she was one of those who took advantage of it where you're taking away something that actually belongs to someone else. Yes. So it's the same continuing cycle of you stealing something that doesn't belong to you. Mm -hmm. You coming and taking away from someone that was already here. Yeah. So when Donald Trump talks about make America great again, is he referring to the people that were bought on ships in shackles who didn't come here willingly to now no. do the work <laughs> for the people who did not want to do the work to build the house that he's living in that he says was a dump remember, because he remember the, uh, White house they dump? had they had they had the native americans who were already cultivating the land so they needed another set of people to cultivate the land for them the amount of native americans that they killed off is is insane that's number one exactly so because when, they're when savages I, when, when, they I, when, are, I about, yeah. when i speak about the doors roll if you don't know what the Doors Roll is, um, the Doors Roll was an act that was enacted by the government, the U.S. government in the 1800s, to basically have a count of the specific tribes of Native Americans. Native Americans. Indigenous people. And back then, I don't think it was remorse, more so you got to basically give up something to get something. The Doors Roll was enacted, and that was basically... Uh, like a ledger of who and what tribe you were from. And that's when a lot of white men paid $5 to get on that roll so that they can have the same benefits as the uh, indigenous people up until this day. So I don't know if Elizabeth is part of that $5 that everybody else was paying, but because I'm sure they didn't take her blood or they, um, they didn't take the people blood back then to find out if you're indigenous. Okay. You know, it just, it, you know, and even in speaking of that, Kai, it goes back to um, generation, generational wealth. And with that, let's, let's talk about the Homestead Act. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the Homestead Act. And, you know, when they tried to put it out there for free men, to be able to take advantage of the Homestead Act. The president at that time was Buchanan and Buchanan vetoed that bill also. It wasn't until Abraham Lincoln got in and then it reversed it and Freeman was actually able to take advantage of the Homestead Act. But the Homestead Act was actually put in place to help white men create a way to make money by farming. Because up until Again, then, let's go back. Up until then let's we had we had the we had the knowledge of sharecropping because that was what we was doing. All they was doing is ha, you know, with the whip. But now, but now they want to take advantage yes. of something and we were denied. And again, when people want to talk and disparage black people and say all of the, the derogatory things that they have to say about us. Let's go back to history. People, educate yourself. White people who refuse to educate yourself, because I'm not saying that all white people don't know it, and they, they, they do. They know it. There were, there were things that were put in place for you that, that we could not take advantage in. of. They yeah. were not put in place for us. We've always exactly. had to fight. We had to fight to get our freedom. We had to fight to give ourselves our own last name. Yeah, like, to fight the bull. But um, because you know they 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 do talk about affirmative action. But affirmative action and equal rights and civil rights actually benefited white women more than it benefited yeah. any yeah. Group of people. Because women white women were considered a minority. Ain't right. that some the white, white women was so white the white man was so puffed up. The white women, were white women. Minority, and let's think of let's think of the white women that um no longer wanted to be the June Cleavers of the world. They wanted to go out and earn. Mm -hmm. You know, because they wanted to earn, they had to find a way to to, to fit them in. 
we have to make we have to make room for them. And there were some who were against it, but there were some who this is what they, they wanted. And you know, again, a white woman is considered a minority. Which is crazy to me. So when I hear when I hear again, oh they That's not crazy to y'all action. They, oh they they benefited, oh they got hired over affirmative action. And I'm like, no, where, where was white women? No, no, no. Where, where, no, no, no. no. Go back to go, go back to your history book because it is written. Section one. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. All persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of the citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection under the, under the laws. Now that is the 13th and 14th Amendment. 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 Thank you.